Hello, welcome to vlog 4. I hope you enjoyed vlog 3 and welcome to this one. So t this week, it's cup week. Yep, so I've got cup games for both of my teams on Saturday and Sunday. So I've just got fingers crossed that the rain doesn't go on and that we have a really good performance. So on Saturday uh, for Coventry, I'm playing Derby at home. Derby County, yes. Um, probably one of our most toughest competitors. So we're really hoping that we can make it through the first round of the cup for that game. And then for Mount Sorrel on Sunday, we've got Anthony Nomads, which is, um, they're in the league above. So yeah, just hope we can beat them. sister's um, training has been cancelled because of the mock exams for the year 11s at our school. So we've not got training for two weeks there. So it could possibly be free, so you never know. So instead I've decided to do Q&A with all these questions. I can actually open the page. Yes, and so it's going to be based around Mount Sorrel and I. So you're getting to know me and Matt Sora under 14s, juniors, yes. And um, let's begin. So, first question. What league is MJFC team you play in? Well, I'm in the Leicester Seen County Girls League and I am in the under 14s green division, which isn't the top league, but we're in the bottom league. But at the moment we're first. Bearing in mind that Mount Sorrow's uh, kind of a new team. We came together only a few years ago. And the girls on in that we're against have been playing for like seven years together. <laughs> so, yeah. That's why we're there. We could possibly get into the top league. It's just that we've had new players come and go. So, yeah. We're still building, but yeah. Second question. Where do you play your MGFC home games? Well, we play at Halstead Park and that is just like a big area where there's five side pitch, seven side pitch and nine side pitch and our club shop's there as well. And our overall, I think it's a pretty good pitch to play on. Like if when it's mowed, it's really good, but if it's not, then it's a bit bad. But overall, I think it's a really, really good ground. It's better than like most of the other ones in our league. So yeah. Uh, next question. Does your MGFC play 11 a side or 9 a side? Um, yeah, for Coventry we play 11 a side, but like for Mount Sorrel, uh, we play 9 a side. Um, we play 9 a side, so we play at Halstead. But next year, because we go into 11 a side for under 15s, uh, can't play at Halstead anymore because there's no 11 a side, so yeah. So like yeah, that's what pitch we play on. So that means I play each weekend eleven side and nine side. So it's pretty tiring. <laughs> and fourth question: Where do you train? No, where and when do you train with MJFC? Right. Okay. This is a bit co confusing. So on Thursdays we have our training currently. Thursdays and Saturdays in the winter, and we both of them we train at. Brooksby for an hour but when it comes to like to like the summer or like spring or autumn we train Tuesdays and Thursdays at the Memorial Centre which is where the 11 side pitches are and so we train there for an hour and a half and then Saturdays we train at Housestead for Housestead Park like we mentioned before for an hour so that's basically when and where we train so we have a pretty decent amount of training session so Normally we're pretty good to go for our matches. Question number five. How many teams are there in your league? 
Well, including us, there are nine teams. Yeah, there's nine teams in our league. We're currently first. So, yeah, I think last year we used to have ten, but I think one of the teams like dropped out. So, yeah. Hmm. When do you play your MGFC matches? Oh, I said earlier that it was on Sunday, so Sundays. What? How many team members are in your squad? Ooh, we currently have 14 girls, I believe. Yeah, because... Yeah, yeah, 14 girls. Uh, I, yeah, we have 14 girls in our league. We've had many before and then they left. But we have new people now, which makes our team even better and improvements. So that's good at the moment. And we are happy with our current squad. So I'm very happy with it. What kit do you have at MGFC? So our main colour focus is orange. Orange and black, white mainly. Because we have orange football tops, what we like play in. Uh, black shorts and orange socks. And we're sponsored by Nike. So, or Nike, how you want to pronounce it, yeah. Um, so, like, yeah, it's pretty bold and it stands out a lot to all the other teams that are playing, like, red, blue, or, like, black and white. So, it's very, they think, ooh, they're orange. So, it kind of makes it seem a bit intimidating, if you know what I mean. But, yeah, overall, I kind of like the kit. Very cool. Why do you like playing for MGFC? That's a good question. Uh, I like KFAM JFC because it's a really nice bunch of girls, really, and also I really enjoy playing football with them. So, yeah, I really enjoy playing football with it, and the girls are really nice. It's a really good environment with the club as well because of the coaches. And next question Best memory of playing for MJFC? It was probably when I scored for the first time because I was a defender, so I don't really like get many goals. So like when I scored, I was like, oh, woo, 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 woo. and also um, my favorite, one of my favorite bits was when I started playing in goal because then because I learned a new skill and I really really enjoyed it. So I was really really happy about that. One of my fondest memories. Because then if I get higher up in football, I could look look back on my memories, be like, oh. I used to be so little when I played. So, <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm on my next page. Well, no, that's it. That's it for the questionnaire. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you later on for Wednesday. We just came back from school. I'm at Hattie's house and we're about to go to Coventry training. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs>
go too far No, I won't want you if you need me Real things don't knock that easy, no Never been your average girl So take time with me, take time Baby, talk to me with some action We can find a place for your passion, no Um, I thought the session went really, really well. Um, each player got what they needed. So defenders got something, midfielders got something. I was working with strikers, they all got something. So I thought it ran really smoothly. Okay, uh, what were you doing in the group with the strikers? Um, so we were doing lots of um, finishes. So we did back towards goal stuff. We did some one touch finishing and then we did some uh, opposed stuff as well. We uh, progressed into some opposed stuff as well. Um, and then they had like a little mini competition to so score most goals. They had uh, five different opportunities to score five goals. Okay. Do you think that we're ready for Derby on Saturday? Um, based on today, definitely. Uh, if you asked me the last couple of weeks, I would have probably said no. Um, but based on today, I think everyone worked really hard and did really well. Okay, last question. Who do you think really stood out in today's training session? Whether it's like in like the big game or like in your individual game? Um, so my individual, I thought Harriet and Bamba did really, really well. Um, and then in the match, um, I thought uh, it's hard to pick out someone, but I think I'll pick out Fran, Gracie, Hattie and Melon. Them four were just really, really good, especially on the ball. Yeah. Okay, thank you, and no I shall see you on Sunday. No, not Sunday, Sunday. Saturday if it's hopefully, on. Hopefully, if it's on. Well done. Okay. So today, uh, well, right now, I've just finished college training. I'm back home in the warm. It's cold out there, and. Um, We've got our Coventry game on Saturday and Mudge, our coach, says we're ready for it. So let's hope we just smash it. Oh, we candy floss and wrap all stuff in. And the lights are there. And there's many people in stores. <laughs> I'm at J4K training right now. Uh, we've got this new fitness coach. So, well, he's going to make us apparently fitter, stronger, faster, and healthier uh, when we're doing our goalkeeping. So, I just hope today's going to be a really good session. This is Eden. Right here, and this is Remy. Hello. She's in year seven. She's younger, but she's also younger. She's year eight. Yeah. Oh yeah, these are also my goalkeepers yeah. as well for the under 13s, the under 12s. Yeah, in the 12s. Yeah. <laughs> um, the 14s. It's cold. Yeah.
So today it's Sunday morning and uh, yesterday our Coventry City match was cancelled because of a waterlogged pitch. So that's six, seven weeks in a row that we haven't played. But luckily today, from a pitch inspection at where we're playing today, um, Mount Sorrel gets to play today. So we just found out that we can play and so we're all a bit pumped up for it. So I'm just about to go get changed because I thought that it probably would be cancelled. So yeah, let's get to it. side the league above and um, yeah they were pretty strong on us as well um, first half we weren't particularly well I went in goal and yeah we we're a bit sluggish but then in the second half we really turned around uh, that, and that was when I was in defence I also played a bit holding midfielder and then in the end they put me on as a winger and I managed to score so that's a good achievement for me as well so yeah, obviously we can learn from the game, but uh, let's hope next week is a little bit better. That's the end of vlog four. Uh, make sure to press that subscribe button if you're enjoying my videos and see you in the next one.